Hey everyone, and welcome back to TriFig. My name's Chris. Have you got extra stimulus money you don't know what to do with? Well, I've got a solution. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top five figure brands you should be collecting in 2020. So let's get started and start spending some money. Number five, Fat Company. Established in 2007, and like many, based in Tokyo, Fatco originally started with animal figures, and while they have a number of Nendoroid and Penguins under their belt, their first figure was from the popular game, Toho Project. This quickly led to figures for Sanran Kagura, Gurren Lagann, Kill la Kill, and probably their most detailed line, the Idol Master series. I mean, just look at these! As the years have gone by, Fat's quality has not only improved, but their prices have also risen to compete with other high-end figure brands. With most of their new releases hitting 150 plus, there's no doubt that Fat is headed for the luxury line of figures in the future. Fat's production control, paint finish, and overall varied series love, they are most definitely a series to take note of. My recommendation? Basically any of their Idol Master figures, cause when you got a bias, you got a bias. Number 4, Skytube. Of course we gotta have a dash of naughty on this list, and where better to get your figure juices going than with Skytube. With not much company history listed on their site, Skytube just seemed to have popped up and jumped right into the 18 plus world. Granted, they may not be the cheap way into collecting, Skytube figures bring the fun and uniqueness of original characters and toss an embarrassingly familiar couch at them. Always featuring a soft to the touch skin texture, rather impressive attention to detail, and a remarkable amount of extras for each figure, Skytube is a genre specific and ruling maker that at first may feel awkward to buy from, until you realize that these are actually very fun, sexy, and even fully clothed. Oh yeah, did I mention most of their figures are fully cast offable? Are a delight to own and just show off. Cost wise, unless you're used shopping, new releases stay between $150 to $200. Luckily, though, with Skytube, a number of older figures can be had for under $100. I was able to pick up a couple via Twitter and eBay, buying from collectors leaning down their hull. So if you're looking for an extra bit of naughty to liven up your display, then Skytube is definitely worth checking out. Recommendation? The T2 Art Girl series is one of Skytube's most popular, but lately they have been hitting it out of the park with their 3D renditions of amazing original illustrations, so I'd start there, as they tend to be extra spicy and really fun to display. Number 3. Good Smile When people start collecting, this tends to be their first company, mostly because they release many of the newest Nendoroids and Figmas, but also because they release figures at all price ranges. GSC is a figure maker and distributor for many other famous brands like Fat, Aquamarine, and Max Factory. Established in 2001 as an artist management and production company, GSC made their debut at the 2004 Kyoto Wonder Festival, and in September of the same year released their first figure, the 1 8 scale Nemu Asakura. And while she may sport a face that only a blind mother could love, Good Smile's development in the anime world has risen to gargantuan heights. With rights to companies and brands from Trigger to Hatsune Miku, Good Smile's figures vary from affordable to insane, but always remain pretty damn well made. Prices range from anywhere from as low as $85 to near $1000 for some of their most out of this world collectibles. Anyone want a $500 Miku figure? How about a $900 Batman? Cause yeah, prices can even be as low as 45 if we include their Nendo series of figures, and as the used market goes, while some may retain their value, a good amount will become more affordable as time goes by since GSC is not afraid of re-releases. While not every figure may be a home run, GSC's level of quality control, connection with skilled paint artists and sculptors, and not to mention illustrators from popular anime, manga, and games, makes even their most budget figures a great addition to anyone's collection. So whether you're starting out and don't know who to try first, or have been collecting for years and looking to spend some stimulus money, Good Smile is a must see. That is of course until they decide to delay their releases for months at a time. Recommendations? The 1 7 scale Megumi Kato swimsuit version. Don't ask, just buy her. They got so much right in such a small and affordable package that it should really be illegal. Just, just, just buy her now. Number 2. Alter. We're getting near the end here, and where would a top 5 brands list be without one of the most luxurious, detailed, and perfected makers currently out there? Established in 2005, Alter can be seen as the Rolls Royce or even Leica of the figure world. Focused mostly on female characters, their figures reflect the highest of the high-end market of figure collecting, with price tags religiously hitting over the 200 mark. It's no joke that you're buying into figure royalty here. With just owning one and seeing Alter stamped on the box it makes you feel like you've joined some elite club of wallet destroyed collectors. While Alter does release figures for around 130 as well, this doesn't mean they're skimping on the quality. For example, Alter's Love Life figures tend to be around 130 to 150, some do hit close to 200, but looking at figures like Kanan, who was about 130, and the over the top 17 Ellie, tipping at about 150, these Alter level, relatively low cost figures, vary from really good to damn right fantastic, but it's absolutely clear that where Alter soars is in their wallet crushing $200 plus masterworks. 
The level of finish, sculpt work, quality control, paint mastery, and desire for perfection they shoot for is outstanding to say the least. It's no wonder we panic when we see a figure teaser drop, only to slowly notice the Altar logo tucked underneath. So ready your wallet, because if you're serious about collecting, Altar's eventually gonna find a way into your display, and yeah, your wallet's gonna feel it. Recommendations? These are tough, because if I recommend any figure older than 6 months, then there's a good chance that price has already skyrocketed or is no longer available. So I'd check out the newly announced 1-7 Kiryu Midwinter Swimsuit figure. At only 13,000 Japanese yen, she's a refreshing figure with excellent sculpt work, a cute face design, and a fairly adorable pose and outfit. Number 1. Max Factory If you're looking to buy from a brand that consistently churns out A-plus figures that won't break the bank, whose sculpts perfectly capture their characters, paintwork finer than a Baroque artist, and box design with actual effort applied, then look no further than Max Factory. One of the longest standing figure makers, Max Factory has more than 30 years of experience under their belt, and every year since their first figure released in 1988 has been spent diligently perfecting every step of their figure designing and releasing procedure. They are one of the top figure brands with unmatched quality to price mastery, and that's what makes them so freaking absolutely perfect. In the years since debuting, Max Factory has designed figures for some of the biggest animes, games, and illustrators to date with Kantai Collection, Tula Vru, and the Fate series being some of their biggest sellers and featuring some of their most sought after figures, their attention to detail, exquisite paintwork, mostly realistic pricing, and overall value held over time make Max Factory one of the biggest competitors and finest additions to the figure community. But this is not why I love them. One of the biggest characters in the world right now that Max Factory consistently dominates in figure form always manages to steal my heart and my wallet? Yeah. We are talking about Hatsune freaking Miku here. Because holy cow are they all just perfectly amazing in every way these figures that Max Factory churns out for her. Beating out in my opinion even Good Smiles Miku figures, Max Factory's devotion to perfecting her emotion, spirit, poses, music, and modules is outstanding. Among their best Miku releases are her racing versions, and my absolute favorites, her Project Eva modules. Each figure is always Ferrari grade, like a finished, and for heaven's sake, near Jihyo levels of beauty. With Max Factory prices ranging from 100 to well over 200, they offer something for every level of collectors, whether it's Miku you're into, or another game and anime. When you take in the level of craftsmanship you're getting, even spending 200 feels like a steal here. That's why Max Factory is my top pick for the best figure brand you should be collecting in 2020. Cause damn it if they aren't perfect. Also, when are we getting another Project Diva module? Cause if I may suggest a Miku Honey Whip and version, I mean, just saying. So there you have it, Trifix top 5 brands you should be collecting in 2020. What were your favorites? Did I miss a brand that should have been on this list? Let me know down in the comments. And remember, buy responsibly, keep collecting, we'll see you next week right here on Trifix.